One of the things I'm learning right now is drawing portraits from reference images that I find online so I can produce some of my own from imagination in the future and uh, you know without it ending up looking like uh, like this. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys, and you probably experience this too if you're learning how to draw yourself. Doing these studies like day in and day out can get very boring. Like, a lot. So recently I've been trying to find ways to spice up my practice sessions, you know, so I actually have fun while I'm learning. So rather than just drawing some randoms or some stock photos that I find online, I decided to transition over to drawing, you know, celebrities, influencers, you know, famous people. And in the midst of me searching for some reference images on Pinterest, Instagram, I came across a woman in the wrestling scene that has a lot of eyes on her at the moment. Her name is Jade Cargill. She recently did a tag team match with the uh, Shaq, you know, the big tall guy, right? A dude has basically done everything career wise at this point from playing a rapping huh. genie in a subpar 90s movie to playing himself in static shock to missing free throws in the nba yeah. and now <laughs> now getting smashed through tables on live television Uh, this is no hate towards Shaq. It's a pretty cool dude. I met him before. Anyways, back to the subject of this video. I found a nice photo of Miss Cargill and I thought to myself, dang. Really want to draw that why did i want to draw that you may ask well i'm a, i'm just like a huge fan of wrestling man like I, I i really love wrestling i think it's like one of the greatest sports ever invented in like the history of mankind stop the cap all right all right i lied i i don't really watch wrestling like that oh! to be honest i just want to draw her because she she looked good in the photo i Right, you know the truth now like truth has been revealed now I'll go over how i created this portrait and how i got noticed by miss cargill herself on instagram let go Alrighty, i have the reference image right here started off with like a guideline so i can kind of map out the features of her face and this stage is pretty rough it's not gonna look anything like the reference image at this point it's kind of like the foundation stage you know i was showing you the stage when i was actually drawing the portrait for like the very first time but i forgot to hit the record button so yeah, I'm doing it again. Anyways, I just drew in that circle there and I'm just going to you know, chop it in half like this horizontally, then chop it vertically like this. And she's facing like this way slightly. So I like draw like a little circle over here, about two thirds the size of this on this. And I just continue this line down. So it's about the same size as this area. And honestly, I think I kind of shaved this down a bit because her face isn't isn't that long, right? Then I started drawing in the jawline and the chin and I just completed it like so. And remember, this is like the rough stage. I, when I was drawing this, I, I made like a, a lot of edits to it because right now it looks like I'm about to draw the crimson chin. But in a nutshell, this is kind of what I did. This is kind of where I started. And I just made changes along the way until I had something that looked sort of similar to the image. So the eye line is sort of like in the middle of the head of the entire head. So kind of like falls in the middle right here. All right, that's in the first stage let's move on to the second stage let's just say this was how her face looked exactly which is just a pretty pretty dumb statement because it looks nothing like it but let's just say that this is the perfect foundation right the next step would be to kind of start drawing in the features perhaps something like that and then you can probably just draw in here over here kind of draw in like some lines that represent like the contours of her of her jaw or mouth or face or something like that then at this stage i also draw in the, the eye sockets and i sort of just use this um reference as like kind of like a guide about where to place the, the eyeballs so maybe somewhere around here and i kind of position the mouth here then i can draw like a rough shape for the, the eyebrows and what they look like then from there i start you know drawing like i uh, you know eye shapes like over the eyeballs just like this it's something I actually do in the third stage so let's let's go over that right now but the third and like fourth stages i i switched over to this video this is me when i was like actually drawing the thing out and the reason i switched over is because i don't want to look at what i was drawing before anymore <laughs> so let's so let's uh let's peep this out let's peep this out huh. so at this point i kind of um drew in like a big shape for her hair and i also like mapped out the features so i took what i did in the last step and i drew in like her lips her nose and some shades for her eyes and i kind of refined her eyebrows a bit also 
also gave her um, a neck and some shoulders, of course, because people have those. And I also uh, cut out some portions of the hair just so it can give it you know, more volume and convey like separation. Uh, this was me just sort of like putting in the shadows for the hair because in the photo, like there are areas that aren't being hit by light anywhere. Just adding more shadows to this part as well. And this is where I kind of like was trying to like do that little swoop thing she's got going on. I don't know what you would call that but i'm basically trying to replicate that i sort of ended up with that and i eventually just added a shadow where it needed to be and i added some shadows like like over her ear right here because that part's being covered up by her hair then i just moved on to uh painting the hair and this was actually my first time painting hair believe it or not and i was pretty proud of the result so i kind of just filled it up with this base gray color now here i'm just adding some highlights to it always trying to um you know look at the reference photo and place those highlights appropriately and the hair ended up looking like this which is was not not bad for a first attempt and right here i'm just i just selected like um her face so i can start putting in some flat colors for her skin and this is me just like goofing around trying to <laughs> actually color her face in but i eventually got this kind of skin tone and then i just erased out parts of the eyes so i can uh, get white in there i color picked uh like the color of her lips and then i just drew that part in there as well and finally i just drew in her eyebrows added some color to her pupils and bada bing bada boom this is my my complete drawing of miss cargo not bad right nope so in a nutshell i posted the line art of the portrait in my instagram feed and my stories i uh, tagged her in both and as a result she graciously put in her stories now, i definitely wasn't expecting her to pay any attention at all to the post but it happened and uh yeah i thought that was uh that that'd be a pretty cool art story to share with you guys so if you're trying to get your art noticed you're trying to increase your social media presence give this a shot you, who knows what could happen right you may go from an unknown artist to uh getting noticed by uh jake paul or something every day bro with the disney channel flow hey yo what the f on second thought that kind of sounds disappointing anyways that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a single interman classic check out the description to join the interman discord server you know get an opportunity to meet some other artists and fellow creators this is interman from interman arts signing off